All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and today we're going to find out if we can hear one ten thousandth of a second. That's 0.1 milliseconds. Is that an audible entity? And to do so, what we're going to do is we have a pretty simple setup here. I've got a an Ivy pink noise generator going into this mixing board on an input one. It's going into this uh, Clark Technic delay line, which is a one in, three out unit. The control over the various outputs, one, two, and three. And output number one is showing up right here. Output number two of the unit is going into the switcher as is output number three. So I'll be able to listen to output number two or output number three. And I've got a pair of headphones attached to this, so I'll have output number one showing up in one ear, output number two switch to three showing up in the other ear, and you'll be able to hear what I'm hearing in the headphones. Should work on computer speakers, but it's really going to work better on headphones. Let's see if we can hear one ten thousandth of a second. You should be able to hear this come up in your left ear, and this should come up in your right ear left and right, both at zero milliseconds. I'm going to go to a thousand microseconds. Are you ready? And this is currently zero milliseconds, zero milliseconds, and we're going to switch one of the ears to one millisecond later. And back again. So you can see me switch. And you should be able to hear that. So when I'm switching the delay on to the right channel, it probably sounds like the left channel is louder and there's a tonal shift between the two channels. Neither of those things are happening on the video that you're hearing. And to prove that, I went and uploaded this video to YouTube and then downloaded it and I will now play the left side by itself, which is the zero millisecond, and then play the right side by itself, which is the one that I'm switching back and forth. And I want to switch one of the ears to one millisecond later. And I want to switch one of the ears to one millisecond later. back again. So you can see me switch. If you are hearing a change by taking, let's say, one of the headphone uh, sides off and just listening to the other, it's highly possible that your computer is making changes like it was in mine. And I found a setting where I turned off sound enhancement and um, it fixed that or something else in your system is collapsing the stereo. Let's go down lower. Let's go down to 500 microseconds. Let's see if we can hear that. All right, let's go down to 100 microseconds. Now 100 microseconds is going to be a tenth of a millisecond. This is one ten thousandth of a second. Um, maybe you can hear it. Um, I definitely can hear it pretty clearly. Let's go down even lower. This is 43 microseconds. Um, and that's getting pretty tough to hear. I'm going to go down to zero microseconds. So now you can just hear the switch. I'm going to go and raise it up while we're listening to it. So now for a zero microseconds, I'm going to slowly increment upward. All 
That's a thousand. I went past it. I'm about a millisecond there. And now I'm going to work my way down from a millisecond to 500 milliseconds to 0.5 milliseconds. And I'm going to work my way down from 0.5 to 0.2. And down from 0.2 to 0.1. And from 0.1 to 0. All right. Can you hear one ten thousandth of a second? The way I figured this out or started doing this is years ago, I was trying to determine the latency of a bunch of different processors. And we were trying to figure, well, what is the latency? 1.6 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds. And finding the specs on those was extremely difficult. Calling the manufacturers, a lot of them didn't know uh, the exact specification. So I set up this test rig where I took one processor and I took the channel 1 out of that processor and I ran it into my ear. And I took the channel 2 and I ran it into uh, the processor I was testing. And then ran that into the other ear, and obviously the one that went through two processors was um, late. And then I adjusted the output of channel one, the delayed output of channel one, until the image centered. And much to my surprise, I found that I was able to discern the processor times down to 0.1 millisecond or better, wrote them all down, and then when I was, uh, over time, I researched and found the processing time and was accurate to within 0.1 milliseconds of all the processor uh, latency times. Uh, so it's a cool way to check uh, all kinds of stuff and very simple and easy to do. All right.